Hey guys, it's Jeff Morris here. Today I'm going to do a video to teach you how to change your water pump on a Mercury 19 coupled motor. Um, it's the same water pump as a 75 horsepower, 115 and a 125. Okay, the first step is we have to remove the lower unit, the gearbox. There is four nuts, 15 mil nuts, two on this side, two on the other side, and there's one up underneath. Uh, one thing to do is don't take the last nut all the way off, leave it on a couple of threads so that the gearbox doesn't fall off. So that when you remove the gearbox, sometimes you need to give it a little pry with a screwdriver. It doesn't fall off on the ground, so the gearbox doesn't come off until you're ready. Now take the weight of the gearbox. Take off the last nut, never let the gearbox go, and it can come off. Alright, let's go do the water pump. Okay, so this is your water pump on top of the gearbox here. So we need to unbolt this top housing to gain access to the impeller. So lift this up, the rubber seal will come with it. Don't lose, don't lose the keyway. Okay, in here, this is your impeller. This engine hasn't been run for a while, so the impeller is quite stuck in there. Now, to inspect it, you have a look at the tips of the blades for any signs of, of wearing or burning, and the top and the bottom of the impeller. Also, you can pull on the blades to see if it's coming away from the bush. Now, because this impeller has got that shape where it's got its curved blades, it means it's been sitting for a while and it's got its memory, so it's not going to pump enough water at high speed, so it's going to need a new impeller. So we pull the plate off. You can inspect the plate for grooves and wear. If it doesn't have any grooves and wear, if it's nice and smooth, the plate can be used again. Same with the housing itself. If there's no grooves on the inside of it, it can be used again. So clean up the old gasket surface. Okay, the new water pump assembly. You can buy an impeller replacement kit. It comes with your impeller and the plate and the gaskets. This is the new impeller. See how it's nice and straight compared to the old one. So this is your gasket, your gaskets and your plate. Now it's very important that the full gasket goes underneath the plate. And when you feel the plate, there will be sharp edges and rounded edges. Now the rounded edges faces up towards the top so that it doesn't rip rip the impeller when the impeller is rotating. So make sure that the gasket lines up with the hole on the other side and slide it down. You can use a gasket sealing compound I like to put a little bit of grease on the inside of your housing. Not a lot, just a just a slight coating so that when you start it up for the first time it's got some lubrication and it's not rubber on steel. So because your housing sits upright and your engine always turns clockwise, when you're installing the impeller into the housing, upside down, turn it anti-clockwise as it goes in and turn it and face it to face it to the side the little keyway to the side of the housing for installation you'll see why in a second if you've bought a kit 
the kit comes, comes with a new keyway. If you haven't bought a kit, then you need to use the old one, and that's why you didn't lose it when you pulled it apart. So, on the drive shaft, this is some marine grease, this is Johnson Evo grease, but any marine grease, waterproof grease is fine. You want to grease your drive shaft where the impeller sits. This is so next time you go to service it, it doesn't seize on. Some grease on the flat where the keyway goes. Push the keyway, it will stay in place. Slide the impeller and the housing down. Hold the keyway in place and line it up. Put the gasket in and slide it down. There's lots of grease on the bolts. Do the bolts up diagonally in stages. And then nip them all up nice and tight. This kit comes with a new top seal. So, a little bit of grease on the inside of it. Slide that down until it touches. Push this down until it touches the top of the housing, but don't push it down so much that it goes into the gaps. Now at the back here, this is where your exhaust comes down. At the back there's a flat bit. Now you have to scrape the old silicon off and you want to use some RTV or silicon and you need to put a, a bead along the back there and what that does is that seals the exhaust gases from coming up into the water pump this is your gear shift okay lift the gear shift up, gear shift up and some grease on the spline of the gear shift and slide that back on so that that doesn't seize on there. Okay, and up here, a bit of grease on the upper spline of the drive shaft. So you want to grease that. Now make sure there's no grease on the top of it. Wipe your hand on it. Because if there's grease on the top, it will hydraulic into the crankshaft. Okay, let's go and install it. Just when we're putting the gearbox back on, we're going to grease the studs. So that next time you're going to take the gearbox off, it's not going to be seized on. Okay, it might be hard to see on the video, but when you're having a look up underneath, you'll see the splines for the gear shift. The other end of that, the bit at the front of your motor, a bit of grease on those splines too. And you need to make sure when you're installing the gearbox that that, that round selector bit that you grease at the beginning slides up over those splines. And when you're installing it, have a nut and a washer nice and handy. Because they do get a little bit heavy. So drop down. Drive shaft in first. Make sure that the water tube goes in. Now, if, it, if you find that it's stuck and it won't go up, turn the flywheel or have someone turn the flywheel for you. Up. And then put all the nuts on and tighten it up in stages until it's tight. Okay, that's it. That's how easy it is to service your water pump. So now the first thing to do before you take it out on the water is you need to start the motor, make sure that it pumps water, and make sure that the that the gear shift works and the and the propeller turns both ways. 
So if the gearbox, if the gear shift doesn't work, it means you've missed the gear shift shaft. You need to pull the gearbox off, and it'll put it back on again, making sure you align that gearbox up.